Hello. I was recently watching the TV drama Keeping Faith. The whole plot is based around the disappearance of Faith's husband on his way to work. I don't know if you've ever wished that you could start over again, just to avoid some of the mistakes you might have made or to change some decisions. Running away from something instead of facing up to the consequences does have its attractions. But could we really walk away? Because if those fresh starts are to be authentic, they need to be shaped by who we've become and they need to be fashioned out of all that we are, both the good and the bad. Hope doesn't need a kind of life eraser to do its work. And it is surprisingly adept at using all the pieces of our lives out of which to build new beginnings. The government has issued new guidelines concerning wearing face masks. Some people aren't bothered to wear face masks at all, ignoring the guidelines with a kind of fatalistic display of bravado, whereas other people have worn them routinely. Respecting the guidelines are not necessarily just for their own benefit, but in considering the well-being of others. A friend recently sent me a reminder about wearing face masks and it was entitled Treat your mask like underwear. Number one, do not touch or adjust, especially in public. Do not borrow or lend. Make sure the fit is tight but comfortable. Make sure it's clean. Wear the right side out and don't go commando. I suppose it's a good light-hearted reminder now that the risks have increased again. And we need to think carefully about how we behave. I suspect that we all would like coronavirus just to disappear, like Faith's husband. But unlike her in the drama, we wouldn't spend much time looking for it. In reality, it's not as simple as that. So I suppose we all have to decide for ourselves what kind of people we will be in the middle of it. The, the Christian gospel commends to each one of us that we should love our neighbours as ourselves. Not a bad place to start. Thank you for listening. God bless and stay safe.